Been, I can't even believe what happened. Holy, holy! Check out how I flew back. Check, just <laughs> look at my arms. Look at the arms. I've never even seen that. I and this is the quad that flew back. Let's inspect the damage. The front of the quad, you know, no damage at all. The prop seem 100%. Everything is fine. Um, I clearly hit on the back of the quad. And uh, this cap was bent out. I actually bent it back. I sheared a bolt. I've actually never sheared a 12.9 hardness bolt, but it's sheared. And the arm didn't break. The bolt just sheared. And um, <laughs> the props are absolutely shredded. This one is still tight, but this one is... That, that's I have not touched the I only took the battery and the GoPro out I didn't do anything else and this this is literally how I flew back home so I usually don't test the durability of props because I don't really crash too often I haven't crashed that hard probably in like six months and I I can't I don't I don't even understand how Betaflight compensated for this because I flew back and it felt fine when I flew back I just thought oh I just probably broke a blade or something and that was that but it didn't even look like it was too jiggly and wobbly in the FPV feed. It just looked like it was a little bit shaky. Anyways, there's something to be said about the durability of this prop. Because I think the only other prop that would have survived that kind of damage is the uh, Cyclone 50, just all the Cyclone race blades. The 5050, 5046, and the 5045. Those are the toughest blades. And those blades probably wouldn't have shattered and broken like this. But this blade held up which is just a massive surprise especially because it's a 4.4 gram blade it's like 4.3 4.4 grams it's a, it's a relatively lighter blade it's not like the heaviest five inch blade all right so now that's this is the quad i actually flew at the, at the end of the video i flew this quad um <laughs> this quad flies incredible with these props okay so let's let's take a look at this prop it's a new okay by the way I'm, I'm using my old phone to record this because um my the usb port on my phone broke it doesn't actually i don't know what it is it doesn't actually respond when i plug it in the computer it just thinks it's charging all the time anyways this is the hq 5.5 by four inch prop and my phone doesn't properly focus at all the old phone just terrible camera anyways okay 5.5 inch prop by four you can see the pitch difference the five pitch five inch prop on top is a little bit more drastic and the 5.5 inch just look like, looks like it's a little bit more drawn out. And that's really the only difference between these two props. This breed of prop seems to be a new version of HU props overall. Okay, so disclaimer, I have not liked a single one of HQ's props since the original 5x4x3. And I have very specific reasons why I didn't like the previous props. The 4.3 V1S, which is arguably their most popular prop still to this day, it felt unpredictable to me because it was so flimsy probably because it was so flimsy at least that's what chad told me as well he said it feels like that because it's flimsy then they made the 4.8 v1s which just felt the same it didn't even feel any faster it just was heavy so it just felt dull in the air and it, it just wasn't it just wasn't a great blade they have the square tip blades they have the s shape tip blade. i mean they're really using the shotgun method here they're just making a whole bunch of props and seeing what sticks um this prop might actually might actually stick pretty well because it, it is an impressive prop this is the first prop I like because it's got a lot of properties that are good. It has good durability, clearly. It has a stiff, a more rigid blade, so it has more, a be it has better response than it should have. Now, it's a 4.4 gram prop, so it's 0 0.5, 0 0.6 grams heavier than the 4.3 V1S or the 5x4x3 or the Dolph 5040C, the new Cyclone uh, Acro prop, but it still responds pretty darn well it's not as quick and zippy as those other slightly lighter blades and slightly easier blades to push through the air but it still does have good response i would say it's good enough for my acrobatics i like a very responsive blade even though i don't do super quick movements i like a very responsive blade and so i would use this prop and i'll, I'll get to that at, a little bit later on Okay, so the prop is obviously made from some sort of polycarbonate. It's super, super duper fast. It's got fantastic grip, as good as anything else I've flown. Um, almost on the order of the Avan prop, which has the best grip I've ever felt on any prop. Almost on order of that. It's it's not quite up to like a quad blade status of the 5x4x4, by by four, uh, but it's got very, very good grip, incredible speed. The amp draw, now that HQ has finally made a prop that has the speed that you would expect from a prop with a five pitch 
as well as the power you would expect from a prop with a five pitch, the amp draw is also much, much higher. It's about 50% more amp draw, more than 50%. It's like 50 to 60% more amp draw than the 5x4x3 or the Cyclone 5040C or the 4.3 V1S. That's really unfortunate, but the good news is that the cruising amp draw and the, the general kind of flying around amp draw is not that drastic. It's, it's only when you punch it super high, and I'm also using higher KV motors, is where you get the really high amp draw. So that's a really good thing about this prop. Like, I can fly around for four minutes, acro, no problem, but I don't usually use the top, like, 15-20% of my throttle range. I kind of just, you know, cruise around and, and pop around. I just like having that extra power when I need it. So the efficiency is, it's pretty good, but it's also super duper fast when you want it to be fast, which is fantastic. It doesn't seem to flatten out on 4S and these 2207, 2600 kV motors, at least. I haven't heard the prop flattening out or, you know, I haven't heard any negative, like, auditory signals from this prop. It's been really perfect. And I did have to adjust my tune because of the steep pitch, and I'm going to get to that. I guess I'll talk about that right now. Okay, so where did this prop, where does this prop fall flat? It doesn't really fall flat anywhere, but it does have a very steep pitch. And props that have a very steep pitch have this issue where they just don't feel like they're in absolute control. And the reason is because, at least as far as I can decipher from all the flying these things, is that a lower pitch prop has to maintain a higher RPM to move similarly. So if you, when you fly the 5x4x3 or any 4 pitch or lesser pitch prop, you need to go you need to go up in the RPM range in order to move as fast as you want to move. With this prop, you don't have to go as high. Like, I mean, you, you will hear me at the end of this video. At the very end of my flight, I just test the speed. I don't really go fast when I, when I fly Acura. I just kind of cruise around. It's just for enjoyment. I'm not really super speed racer. But I just decided to test the speed of this prop. And gosh, I was really blown away by the speed. I, I couldn't believe my, my Acro quad, that's 571 grams, could move that fast. I think it was going probably close to 100 miles per hour. I, I was really blown away by that. So on lower pitch props, you maintain a higher RPM on the blade, and that's what gives you that gyroscopic control feel that we like, we, that like tight, like locked-in feel. You get that with the, with the lower pitch prop because it's naturally spinning at a higher RPM. With this prop, you actually have better yaw because it has such a steep pitch. You have better yaw response but the overall control feel is reduced because you're not, I'm guessing, because you're not maintaining as high of an RPM as a lower pitch prop. So if you compare this prop directly to the 5x4x3, actually don't really compare it to that. If you compare it directly to the Cyclone 5040C, you'll notice that you feel like you have better overall control with the Cyclone prop with the 5040C, but you have way more speed with, with the, the HQ prop, way more speed. The low speed control isn't quite as good. And that's where I'm gonna leave it because there's really nothing else to say about this prop. It performs great, throttle control is fantastic, it's very accurate, the prop is, is nice and stiff, it's very durable. I would say it's more durable than the 5040C and of course more durable than the 5x4x3 and the 4.3 V1S. Um, it's, it's, I think, the best prop that HQ has made so far. Uh, even better than the 4-inch 4.3 V1S. It's really a fantastic blade, and it's really, really nice to see all these companies coming out with props that are actually really, really good. For acrobatics, I will choose this prop if I want to do really fast acrobatics or do like crazy Maddie stunt style acrobatics. And I will always keep my uh, Cyclone 5040C in my bag as well for my general acrobatics because I do have much better low speed control and just like low throttle man. I can stay closer to the ground easier with that prop because it's like it just isn't as punchy as this prop this prop is really really powerful that's it give it a shot don't forget the floss flossing is very important it makes you very good good job